This is the right side of the, the motor. This is a carbureted 2001 Mercury 60 horse, four stroke. So we've got four carbs, it's four cylinders. Up here is the, uh, I believe it's auto enrichener. It's basically, you could say it's the electric choke. It really uh, controls, uh, has a little uh, uh, pin that controls an orifice and it's basically placed with the uh, uh, amount of air you get mixed in with the fuel. I think it basically, it, it opens up and leans out when you're warm and it's in, which reduces the bleed. Uh, when it's cold, and uh, that enriches the mixture. I think that's how it works. Um, we're going to take it out and check it. When I bought this motor, it was demonstrated uh, on, a, on a boat that I bought also, and uh, I want to check this out because the guy, it started okay, a cold start, but he said he was surprised that it, uh, he didn't have any trouble when it started. Uh, he said that it would frequently be a problem starting when cold. So we have here uh, the two wires. We're going to do a resistance test on the bench here and verify that the, the little coil in here isn't open or anything like that. The intermittent will wiggle the wires around. Uh, this pin, uh, we're going to put 12 volts onto this and there's a procedure where you're supposed to see this move over the course of a few minutes and make sure that it's actually got the travel it's supposed to have. And uh, that is a little needle that goes into an orifice and that changes the, depending where the needle is, uh, I believe changes bleed air, like I said, and uh, effectively can work as a choke. You can have richer or leaner mixture. So let's take this inside and uh, on the bench. Okay, this is the electrical check that we're going to do for this. The service manual is for the 50 to 60 uh, horse four strokes. And uh, it covers my 2001. This starts in model year 2000 and it's hard to see there, 2001. Mine has to be carbureted. Uh, okay, uh, this right here is a resistance check. We'll do that first. It says that we should have 15 to 25 ohms across our leads. Uh, otherwise we could have cracked wire or something inside the, the um, something corrupted or broken inside the coil there. So we'll do this. We'll go down to that range and uh, I've checked this a few times before, and the numbers have varied. Well, that's interesting. Um, I'm getting 20.7 right now. I've gotten down to 14 where I've just checked it. I don't know exactly what's up with this. Um, I've had 15, but uh, basically 15 to 20. So that's actually in range. I did get some numbers below, and I've tried. I'm going to try here to show you. Uh, or show myself. I'll try and nail this down with one hand. There's 20, and I'm moving this around. So it's stable. I don't have anything broken. I'm wiggling the uh, this here. So uh, maybe the paper I'm doing it on here is slightly conductive. Uh, my fingers are slightly conductive too, I suppose. Um, 20.9. Let's see if I do it on the wood surface. Twenty points as well. It's consistent right now. Uh, well, we'll say that that passes. I still don't know why it would have changed. Right now it's being very consistent. Uh, the next part of the test is uh, we measure the piston height right here. And I've got, these aren't super accurate, but they go to two decimal places, this thing right here. And we're going to go in millimeters because uh, it's sort of easier for me to read that way. I'm going to eyeball 
And I'm going to get that. I'm going to say it's 10.1. On a previous time I measured it, you can see I wrote here 10. And when we put 12 volts on this, we're going to expect that piston to go out. And that would make the needle seat and uh, block off a hole, basically. So when voltage is applied, that gradually, I guess over a warm-up period, when you start the motor, over time, that will gradually go and seal a bleed hole. And we'll check this out. Okay. So it's been less than a minute, you know, 30 seconds or so. Um, yeah, we're still, well, right now it's 11.1. point three it is going out actually you can see I'll put it over here you can see a little gap at the bottom there see you can actually see the bottom of that aluminum piston well it's noticeably it's noticeably out right now we are at 13.1, 13.5. So we started at 10 point something, 10.7 or 8. Uh, we've bounced out to uh, 3 millimeters at least. That's quite a bit. Let's, let's check. Oops. Yeah, the, the battery doesn't make a good background there. Okay, we're about 13.7, yeah. So it is, there is a change. Uh, how far should that go? They don't actually give in the procedure over here. They don't tell you what to expect. They just say connect to 12 volt battery, wait several minutes. Well, just wait several minutes and... Uh, Measure piston valve height. Replace auto enrichener if no change was observed. So, yeah, well, I guess we have a change observed. And right now we're at 14.1. This thing is noticeably warm now. It's not hot, but it's, it's above blood temperature. So, I'll put the enrichener back on. Um, yeah, so I've been working on this motor, just going through various maintenance items. Since it's new to me, I don't know what its service history is, so, uh, or has been. So we'll get that seated, I feel the O-ring there. So I've done certain things. Yesterday I uh, changed the, had the flywheel off and changed the timing belt. And I've changed the water pump down here in the lower unit. That went back on. Got some other things. I've changed the thermostat. That's on the other side of the motor. Uh, I've got a new fuel filter to put in. And uh, all these things I hope will ensure or give us a little bit of assurance when we're on the water with it this year. Once then, one of the next steps is to then finally get it on to our Hobo houseboat. So if you want to see any of the videos on well, I would encourage you to uh, check out the playlist for this motor, uh, for some of the little maintenance things that I've done. Check out the playlist for the uh, Hobo Houseboat that it's going on. Uh, it had a major rebuild over the last few years. And uh, you can check out the playlist for the Sunray boat, the free boat, free boat that I got along with this motor. and. Uh, it's an, an adventure in progress. So uh, we'll hook this up and I hope you found this somewhat helpful.